All right, so I actually recorded this beforehand, but it was like, you know, it, it felt kind of shitty, you know, it felt too scripted. So I was like, hey, what if I just go ad-lib everything? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I prepared a slideshow for you bums. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, be ready because this is my fitness 101 beginner's guide video. Let's go. So, fitness, what does it mean? Well, it means the condition of being physically fit and healthy. A lot of you people aren't. Crazy. Now, one thing that might be even crazier is that you guys are in the majority. About 63% of the population is overweight or obese. And that's not even including skinny people. So, you know, being fit is actually in the minority. That's insane. Because it's something that every human was born with. And it is our unconditional responsibility until we die. Look at this. There's so many health risks of being obese or overweight. Please just watch this video out. I promise I got the solution for y'all. But yeah, you're going to die, man. Today, we're going to talk about the rudimentary parts of fitness. We won't talk about diet or muscle building. I already have a video on muscle building too, actually. And if you guys want a diet video, I'll make one that you like and sub. And yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. But wait, 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 wait. I don't have any credentials. I'm not a doctor. I haven't received any formal training apart from like a fitness class in like grade nine and food and nut in grade 10. Other than that, I have no formal training or credentials. The only proof that I have that I even know anything is my physique that I built over one year of training. Uh, yeah, don't mind the picture, bro. I was I'm kind of sped. But yeah, that that's it. I'm not a do I'm no doctor, so don't come for, come to me for medical advice. All I'm doing is sharing my experience and my results. That's it. All right, but we need to first talk about the mental aspect of fitness. So, if you guys have if you guys have seen my short on this then you would know that fitness is a way of life. And your mind is the greatest thing that you can have when you're starting. Two people can start doing fitness at the same time. But if one person is just 2% more persistent, they will get 20 times the results. That's how much your mindset affects your fitness journey. So before we start, ask yourself this. Am I ready to put in the work that's required to get what I want? Once you've done that, you're ready to go to the second part. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the physical aspect. As you can see, we have David M. Effing Goggins, also known as one of the baddest people on the planet. Crazy guy. And he used to be 300 pounds overweight. Isn't that crazy? He's 300 pounds overweight. And then he dropped about 120 of that in six months or three or six months. And that's him now on the right. That's him on the left. Look at him, bruh. Shredded. And you can do that too. Doesn't matter what your condition is. You could definitely do it too. And what you need to know is that exercise is king. It's the best thing you could do for your physical health. Also... For beginners, there's a lot of different schools of thought and forms of exercise. But the only thing you guys need to do is start. Start doing it and start doing it consistently. Because then you're building a habit for keeping your body fit. With All right, here's some principles you can use when you are starting your fitness journey. So first one is train smart and hard, not dumb and reckless. Obviously, you want to train with proper form and you want to train within your limits or, yeah, always pushing close to it. You know, you want to warm up before every workout, do some dynamic stretching to get the muscles ready. I also have a spotter when you're doing some heavy lifting because you don't want to end up with a broken back in the gym. Second principle is progressive overload. This is the concept 
of always increasing the intensity which you do your exercises. Now, this can be found in many different forms. You can make the uh, weights you move heavier and slash or you can increase the amount of reps you do per set or increase the sets. Either one, as long as you are increasing the effort you have to put in for every workout, you will also increase the results you get. Now, the third one, third principle is plan beforehand. Too many people come into the gym without a plan and they just do whatever they like. And it's probably the worst way to get about this. Well, not the worst, but it is one of the worst. The most effective way to get uh, best results is to by having a proper plan, which accounts for everything that you want to do, all the muscles, all the training. So the way I implemented this was by opening up a notes page on my phone, writing down all the exercises, reps, sets, and weights. And then before I do my workouts, I look over them and see if they were hard or easy last time and change it from there. With these principles, you could create a good foundation for having good fitness. Now, God, let me tell you my story of fitness and how I came to be like this. It might be surprising to tell y'all, but I wasn't always muscular. Oh my God. Yeah, it was, I was a lanky brown kid who liked to play basketball. And I didn't even have any interest in fitness until one day I was in the park playing, you know, basketball. And then some random guy that I was playing with told me, hey kid, you're not strong enough to play well. I was like, damn, because this guy was cooking me too. So I was going to, like, he got to know something. And after that day, I realized I have to do this. I have to get stronger. I have to get bigger. Because if I don't, that guy would be right. And I would never allow that. So after that day, I tried to do my first workout in which I went to my basement and tried to do a push-up. Then realized I couldn't do a push-up. Yes, that's, yeah, you're hearing it right. I couldn't even do one push-up when I started this. And you might be in the same boat as me. And what I did for that was I used an easier variation, you know, on your knees and stuff. And after that, my whole body was sore for a week, an entire week. My chest, my shoulders, my arms would ache. I def I genuinely felt disabled. <laughs> But I persisted because I knew that this was only the start and it would get easier from there. And that's exactly what happened. I didn't even step into a gym for a few couple months. I was actually using some changeable weights I found on Amazon, these things. This little 2.5 kgs. I used that with, and it came with you know a stick so I could create some dumbbells with it. And with that, I got some pretty good results. You know, uh, if you see me on the left, I think that was about a month or maybe later. I don't know the difference, but I look super weird in those. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I got pretty good results with those changeable weights. Then I actually went into a gym and that's when my like physique strength and everything just skyrocketed. So... What I'm basically trying to say is that even if you even if you don't have access to a gym, uh, you can still get your work, uh, exercise in. You know, get some changeable weights like I did. Or if you can't get that, then go to a park and do some pull-ups, push-ups, and dips. Fitness is accessible to everyone, and it is a core part of life. Please understand that. Uh, you know, starting off, I didn't have anyone to show me the way or show me the benefits of training and exercising. And that's why I make these videos, so I could be that type of inspiration to you guys. Yeah, that's me right now. Thank you people for watching this video about fitness for beginners. And feel free to comment your thoughts and your opinions. You know, I read all the comments and stuff. 
I appreciate all the support I've been getting these days, you know, with my Roblox tier list at the big toe reveal. Definitely doing some good numbers. If you want a dive video, I'm totally down to make a dive video. I have a lot of things about dive that could help you guys. And diet and fitness are definitely a part of each other. So just like and comment down that you want a dive video and I'll make one. Probably not next week though. Next week I'm taking a break. Yeah, too much videos for you guys. Anyways, I'll see y'all later.